Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are gearing up to make waves in the entertainment world with not one, but two new Netflix series. I tell you, our couple, they are booked and busy. They are ignoring the noise. As part of their groundbreaking deal with the streaming giant, the royal couple will serve as executive producers through their production company, Artwell Productions. Productions, the first series, spearheaded by Meghan Markle, promises to celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. This project comes hot on the heels of Meghan's recent launch of her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, and promises to showcase her expertise and creativity in these areas. So we know Meghan is good at aesthetic. She loves to present a good presentation. She dresses well. She looks good. She knows how to do things properly. Just her intelligence is, her creativity is just beyond belief. Really, really beautiful. With Megan's infectious, as I was saying, enthusiasm and innovative approach, viewers can look forward to delivering or discovering new tips tricks and recipes to elevate their own culinary and gardening endeavors. Produced by Sony Pictures Television's The Intellectual Property Corporation, the show is poised to captivate audiences with its exploration of lifestyle-centric um, topics. With Megan serving as an executive producer alongside um, Chanel Pisnik, Archwell, head of nonfiction, viewers can expect an authentic and engaging portrayal of these subjects. So we know Megan loves not only to come and talk, she loves to do her research, she loves to get involved, she loves to roll her sleeve up and just bring in the public the proper education that they need. The second um, series promises to offer an exclusive glimpse into the glitzy world of polar, a sport that Prince Harry has been deeply passionate about since childhood. With his first-hand experience and expertise, viewers can expect an inside look at the thrilling highs and challenging lows of the sport, all while uncovering the rich heritage and tradition associated with polar. For Prince Harry, polo is more than just a pastime. It's a lifelong passion that runs deep in his family, with both his father, King Charles, and his brother, Prince William, sharing his enthusiasm for the game. The series serves as a tribute to their shared love for polo and underscores the rich heritage and tradition associated with the sport. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex foray into... The world of entertainment comes as no surprise, given their dynamic partnership with Netflix and their commitment to using their platform for positive change. With an estimated $100 million deal in place, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are poised to make a significant impact in the industry, while also amplifying important messages and causes close to their hearts. As the countdown begins, for the debut of these exciting new series, fans can anticipate being entertained, inspired, and empowered by the creative vision of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And I was listening to Mark Cuban, right? Um, this was four years ago. And he said, listen to me, man, if Harry and Meghan came in front of me, I'm um, if you were at the drawing board for their next moves, what, what would it look like? Like, first of all, it's speeches. I mean, if the Obamas get 500,000 or a million dollars a speech, they're going to get at least 150 to 250,000 a speech, and they get to go out there and network. So that's number one. Number two, you go to Netflix, then play them off against Amazon Prime, and play them off against Apple TV, and play them off against Hulu. So many, and, right? Yeah, and you bidding get a, war. Bidding war, and you get a production deal for movies and TV shows. And then from there, you, you raise your kids. Right, because doing it that way, you get to set your own schedule and as normal as they can be and wherever they want to live and however they want to live, they'll have that option without being, you know, having to figure out sure. what they're going to do with the royal family. Harry and Meghan are incredibly marketable. I, I call them the, the new young Obamas. They're going to make an ungodly amount of money and you know what? 
they literally could become billionaires over the next 20 years. If either of them came on Shark Tank, I wouldn't even wait for them to pitch. I'd be like, I'm in, whatever you want, yes, because they are so marketable. It would be so easy to develop products and projects for them, with them, and around them. It'd be, yes, yes. As long as they stay authentic, as long as they limit their projects and don't try to sell everything and anything, then I think they are the new Obamas. They will have such a valuable brand that they'll be able to pick and choose whatever they want to do and just make an ungodly amount of money doing it. They're going to be living the dream. I'm, I'm vying for them right away. They are going to be booked. I'm taking them because guess what? Harry and Meghan are market, marketable. They are going to make billion. He said they're going to be billionaire in the next 20 years. He was talking about um, comparing them to the Obamas. And he said with their star power, what they bring to the table, their creativity, just how they look, as I said, their star power, they are going to, people are going to be one. This, he was even comparing and saying, listen, you can pit them against Netflix, against Paramount, against you name it, that does movies, that does anything. They are good to have. They are good to um, two people to want in your camp because we know that Harry and Meghan they are charismatic they are just they have something and they have that sparkle about the two of them it's not only the Marcus sparkle Harry has it too Harry is charming he's charismatic and people love Harry so we know that the two of them and that's what they, they the royals were afraid of them being out there on their, their own because they know that the power that comes with them being out there on their own. And, and we just heard this recent thing about from Anna, where she was saying there was something about Harry and Meghan when they came, they have this thing, dynamism about them. They are just dynamic as a couple. And that was what William and Kate were afraid of. So this is great news. So when everybody's just watching, oh, I wonder if Netflix is going to renew. I wonder if this is happening. Harry and Meghan, as I've said before, are booked and busy. No time for the noise. No time for the foolishness. They are doing their thing. They're living their best lives. And I'm going to say it over and over. I'm going to play you the, a little snippet from what Mark Cuban was saying because it is so poignant. He was like, huh? Harry and Meghan, they, those two are going somewhere. They, he was even talking about their booking fees, like things that they can book, get for speeches. Because, you know, like the Obama, them got, they garner like 500000 per speech. Meghan and Harry, with their star power, can garner. He was saying at the time, Two hundred to two fifty thousand, you know. So he is he is comparing them to the little Obamas, <laughs> but that's okay. It's building on your brand. Build your brand. You have a brand. Build on it, Harry and Meghan. So I'm just so happy that this news is coming out. That they are coming out with new projects. Sussex Squad. We are so excited because anytime Harry and Meghan, anytime they do anything, we're all for them we pray for them we pray for their safety we pray for their success we pray that god grant them everything that's good everything that's coming to them these are good people and that's why we support them so more power to, power to you guys harry and Megan. we are we have you have we you have we have your backs we are looking out for you so thank you guys for listening this is just some good news that just broke and we just want to say we are happy for Harry and Meghan. They're doing things. They're booked. They're busy. They're ignoring the, the haters. They're ignoring the noise. And they're just moving forward. Forward and upward. That's the only way you go. Forward, upward. Don't go backwards. Harry, not going back. He's going forward. So thank you guys for listening. I am excited. This is great news. Go, 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 guys. Go, Harry. We are rooting for you. Go, Meghan. We are so rooting for you, girl. And everything will come to you as God wants it to. Just continue trusting him. Continue praying to him. Continue leaning to him. We are praying for you daily. I think you have people that just continuously pray that God protects and guide you. Harry, 
your family your two beautiful kids mama doria and we just pray diana princess diana is watching over you guys and you're going to make it big or you're not bitter you're not bitter people you move on you take your lakes you take your challenges and you get up you rise you rise up again don't let anything pull you down. You can rise above it. And I'm so, so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for Harry and Meghan. I'm, I'm always just have this big smile on my face when things go right for them. I mean, when things go bad for them, I get, I too feel the emotions. I too get a little sad. Like, oh, why did that have to happen? But when things go great for them. I'm ecstatic. I'm, I, you're, you ever want to see two people winning life? Me, I want to see Harry and Meghan win. And they are going to win. They are actually winning. They are winning. All they do is win, 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 no matter what. Whoever thought they would have failed, whoever thought they would come back begging, that did not happen because God was not going to allow that to happen. And they are doing great for themselves. They are living their best life. I mean, come on, guys. We are so happy for them. Thank so great job. Great job, Harry and Meghan. Talk soon, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.